I'm going to do an exercise for American Mahjong using the National Mahjong League card. This exercise is called Charleston Modeling. The purpose is to practice decision making pass by pass. And each pass can exponentially change the trajectory of your hand. If you have a set of tiles at home, I hope you give this exercise a try. If you're new to Mahjong, or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. We're going to do three iterations. First will be the dealer, so we'll have 14 tiles. Then we'll be non-dealer, which means we'll have 13 tiles, and then we'll be the dealer again. So we'll have 14 tiles. 14, 13, 14. And I'll create a mock Charleston with no jokers. We have a joker, two flowers, north and west. We have one, six, seven, eight in bams, one, three, nine in cracks with a pair of threes, and we have an eight. If these were your tiles, what would you focus on and what would be your first pass? If these were my tiles, I would focus on the multiples, the flowers and the threes. Then I would keep tiles that would give me the potential for a good hand with flowers or threes. I think I would keep both ones and the six nine for potential little odds or three six nine. And that leaves us with these tiles to pass. So I would probably pass those three. Let's pass these. We have a six, three, six, nine, three, six, nine. I think that's what I would focus on three, six, nine. There are two hands for three, six, nine with flowers. One is in one suit, fourth hand down, and then one has a two suit option, second hand from the bottom. Let's pass one, eight, west. If we get a five crack, we might be able to switch to little odds. We have a three, five. So here we have one, three, three, five. One, three, three, five, third hand down. We'd have to throw away a pair of flowers though. I don't think I would do that. I think I would focus on three, six, nine. Three, six, nine. I wouldn't pick a hand yet. So we can pass these three. Wow, look at that. Three, six, nine. We got a pair. We have one discard. We went right across left. We have three, three, nine, three, six, nine. Oh, three, six, nine, three, six, nine. There's a pair hand potential pair hand here. I would give up a joker for that. This is going to be a little bit risky of a pass. We could stop the Charleston and we actually have a potential pair hand here. So in this case, I think I would stop the Charleston. I would stop the Charleston, save that for a discard and then pass two in the optional cross. 
Let's see if there's another option. If we had a six dot, we could play the second hand from the bottom in mixed suits and then continue the Charleston. That would use all these multiples and it would free up these tiles for passing. So let's do this. Let's stop the Charleston and do an optional cross. And then we'll put it back together and continue and see if that was the right way to go. Kind of like a mini Charleston chain reaction. So let's pass two. No keepers. So we have four discards and a potential pair hand. So let's go back. And now let's break this up and see if we can get closer using the Joker for that mixed suit hand. Give up the pair hand. So we might get six dots in these three passes. Let's pass. This is a lot of discards. Look at that. That's why I think I would play that pair hand. So let's pass one of each suit. No keepers. Let's pass these three. We got a flower. There is a four flower, one suit hand. Let's keep the six. Maybe even keep the three for potential like numbers. Let's pass these three. No keepers. We could maybe keep the north for a potential quint but we have two pair there. I don't think I would do that. I think I would focus on three, six, nine in mixed suits, three, six, nine in one suit with flowers or like numbers with threes. So let's do the optional cross. No keepers. And we have six discards. Maybe use this joker for the missing six dot. That particular hand uses only a pair of flowers. So we'd have seven discards. I think what I would rather do is play like numbers with threes and use this for joker bait and then discard those. I think stopping the Charleston and going for the pair hand was the better choice. Even though we still had discards and a joker, we had no gaps for that hand. Would you have stopped the Charleston or would you have broken up your hand? Joker, almost news. One, two, four, five, six in cracks, seven dot, two nine in bams with a pair of nines. If these were your tiles, what would you focus on and what would be your first pass? If these were my tiles, I would build around the nines I think I would keep 
the wins for a little bit because we have a lot of discards. And I would also keep consecutive tiles six through nine in mixed suits here. If we were to get all the nines and build up wins, I would give up a joker for a pair hand. So let's pass those three. We have an eight and a six. We did pick up a west. We have two tiles to pass. So we have almost news with a pair of wests, six through nine in mixed suits. We could maybe even do three, six, nine if we get threes. Since we have a joker, I think we should break up the wins. So let's pass a west. Focusing on these nines. We got a flower. We did get a west in here, or east. That's an east. Here's a four dot, so let's pass those three. We could still maybe do three, six, nine, seven, eight, nine, three, six, nine. This is a little risky. I think I would give up one of the sixes. Pass these. We got a three, three, six, nine, maybe. Now here we have twos. We need to break those up. Let's focus on consecutive run and pass these. We've got a white dragon. We did get twos again. Wins and twos were coming in there. Part of me thinks maybe we should switch to a year hand. We have two more passes. We did pick up an eight. We could do six, seven, eight, nine, no gaps. I think that's what I would do. Building around that multiple. So let's pass these three. I think that was the right choice. We did pick up a multiple there, but we do have tiles to pass. No keepers. Let's see. Nine dragon. There's no, there is one offsuit dragon hand in three, six, nine. Three, six, and one suit, th six, nine, and a second suit, and the dragon. Three, six, and one suit. Six, nine, and a second suit, and dragons. We need six cracks. Six, seven, eight, nine, no gaps. I think I would pass two for optional cross. Focus on six, seven, eight, nine, but leave an opening for three, six, nine with these dragons. Otherwise, we're going to pass three, four dragon. That would be really risky. I think I would pass two. No keepers. So we have two discards and I would probably play six, seven, eight, nine, use this for joker bait and discard those. This would be the second hand down under consecutive run. No gaps, it's very light though. And the shape there is Pung Kong, Pung, Pung Kong, Pung Kong.
Joker flowers. North, two, three, six, seven, eight in BAMs, pair of sixes. Five, nine in dots with a pair of nines and a one crack. If these were your tiles, what would you focus on? And what would be your first pass? If these were my tiles, I would focus on 369. Three, six, nine. We do have a lot of discards, maybe hold seven, eight, because we could do six through nine. So let's pass these three. No keepers, look at the twos. We got a pair of twos. Let's put them in order. Two, three, six, nine. Six, seven, eight, nine. Kind of reassess here. Anytime you get multiples from a pass, or not from a pass, but due to a pass or after a pass, reassess. So here we have two, three, six, seven, eight pairs of twos and sixes. See here, I would probably switch to two, four, six, eight instead of three, six, nine. Let's look at the two, four, six, eight hands with flowers. In mixed suits, there's one, two, two hands, fourth one down, and then second from the bottom with dragons. So if we look at the fourth one down, two flowers, two, eight in one suit, four, six in a second. So we have two, two, eight, and a four, or we have two, and a six. So that really doesn't work very well. So let's see. We're kind of in between three, six, nine and two, four, six, eight. So let's keep the eight and see if we get four bam. If we get a four bam, we could maybe play a one suit, two, four, six, eight hand maybe even a pair hand, let the joker go. Let's pass these three and see what happens. We got a six and a six. We did get an eight and a two. I just think this hand wants to be evens. We keep getting evens, but they're not quite gelling. We have two six, two four would be better. We have one crack. Two, eight, four, six. We don't have the two, the right two here for that fourth hand down. And we don't have a four bam in here. And what we could do is the first hand, use this for the four bam that's missing and then break up the nines. So I think I would play two, four, six, eight. Let's break up the nine. We got an eight and a two. We are still getting three, six, nine. So two, four, six, eight, we may even be able to still play a pair hand here with twos. Risky in the year with the year tiles being 2021. Let's see what happens. Six dot three six nine. We're in between two four six eight and three six nine. All right, we'll keep going with two four six eight. We got a six crack. Really, we want twos though. Dragon. I don't think that's helpful. I don't think I would pass it though. I think I would ask for two.
we ended up getting a six, I would keep it as an option to twos. If we pick up another six, swap it out for maybe that pair hand or the first hand under two, four, six, eight. And that would be building on the multiples, focusing on these multiples. We do have a gap, but we have a joker or potential pair hand. American Mahjong is a very flexible game. You can make just about anything work. If you build around the strength of the hand, which would be either multiples or the predominant pattern, you can set yourself up for success for any hand and optimize your chances to win. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click that little gray bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next video, may all your picks be keepers.